kakawaumat? In this video, we will add integers using three different ways or methods. First is by using colored counters, you can make use of number line or the rules itself. Okay, so let us find first the value of the following. So we will try to look for the absolute value of 3 and that is 3. Absolute value of negative 10, that is positive 10. Absolute value of negative 14, that is 14. Absolute value of 9, that is 9. Absolute value of negative 7, that is 7. Now, since again, the absolute value is referring to it, the distance, so uh, we will not have or it can never be negative. Okay, so it's always positive. Now, how to add integers? So, again, meron tayong tatlong paraan kung paano mag-add ng integers. So, first, you can make use of the colored counters. So, pag sinabi natin colored counters, ito yung representation or models. So, pwede mo tong gamitin. Okay, so let us represent a positive integer as color green. And then, for negative integer, let's use red. Okay, now remember that for every positive and negative pair, that is equivalent to zero. So ulitin ko, kapag nagkaroon ka ng isang green at isang red na pair, that is equivalent to zero. So ibig sabihin, wala na siyang value. Okay, let's have an example. So again, our representation for positive integer is green. For negative integer, we will use red. Okay, and for every uh, pair, meron kang isang green at meron kang isang red, that, it, that is equivalent to zero. Okay? Let's have an example. So, I have here 3 plus 4. So, yung 3 natin ay positive, yung 4 natin ay positive din. So, we will use green uh, color. Okay? So, first, for positive 3, so tatlong green. For positive 4, we have tatlong, apat na 4. Okay? Now, balikan natin yung zero pair. So, magkakaroon lang tayo ng zero pair kapag meron kang isang positive at isang negative or green and red. Okay. So, since wala tayong pair dyan na green at red or positive negative, so therefore, walang makakancel. So, we will now count all the colored counters. So, how many colored counters do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay. So, we have 7. Now, bakit ito positive? Because the color of this is green. Okay. So, ang kulay niya ay green. And green represents positive integer. Okay. Let's have another. So, I have here 3 plus negative 4. Now, remember... Tatandaan na kapag ang integer natin o yung signed integer o yung negative integer natin ay nakasulat after ng ating operation, please do and close your signed integer sa parenthesis. So, hindi kasi pwedeng magkatabi to na 3 plus negative 4. So, kapag meron kang negative integer, i-enclose mo siya sa parenthesis. Okay? Kasi hindi sila pwedeng mag Tabi. Okay. Now, so I have 3 plus negative 4. So, this is positive. So, tatlong green tayo. This is negative 4. So, we will have apat na negative. Now, let us apply the zero pair. So, sabi ko nga, kapag zero pair, one positive, one negative. So, meron na tayong zero pair dito. Isa, dalawa, tatlo. So, ito ay makakancel na natin. Ibig sabihin, wala na siyang value kasi equivalent na siya sa zero. So, ano na lang ang natira? Isa. Okay? Now, bakit siya negative? Kasi this is called or red. And our representation for negative is red. Okay? So, yun yung ginamit natin. Next. So, I have here negative 6 plus 4. So, anim na negative. So, we will use red color. And then, apat na positive. So, we will use green. Okay. So, meron tayong zero pair dito. So, we will cancel. So, ang natira ay dalawang red. And that is negative 2. Kasi red. Next. 
negative 2 plus negative 3. So, ito na naman. So, since negative ito, enclose natin siya sa parenthesis. Now, bakit ito hindi wala na siyang um, parenthesis? So, ito actually, pwede mo siyang lagyan ng parenthesis. But since wala namang operation dito, okay na na ganyan na lang siya. So, negative 2 plus negative 3. So, let us represent negative 2. So, dalawang red. Let us represent negative 3, so tatlong reds. Okay, wala tayong zero pair dito. Okay, so ibig sabihin, bibilangin na natin ito lahat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So lima siya, kulay red, that is negative. So, negative 5. Okay, so this is one way of uh, adding integers. So, meron kang options kung paano mo gustong isolve. Pero syempre, hindi to applicable kapag yung integers mo ay malalaki na. Okay? Alright, let's have the second way. So, you can make use of the number line. Now, remember na kapag number line ang ginagamit natin, always starts with the origin. Ano bang origin natin? Yung zero. Okay? So, kukuha ako ng isang given kanina na ginamit natin sa count colored counters. Okay? We have negative 6 and plus 4 is equal to negative 2. So, let's see kung ito bang ginamit natin sa colored counters ay same pa rin ang sagot kapag ang ginamit natin ay number line. Okay, so let us as uh, try. Let us illustrate. Okay, so negative six. This is negative six. So that means going to the left. So again, starts with zero. Sa zero time magumpisa. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so nag-end sa six. Now plus four, positive four. So going to the right. So one, babalik siya. One, two, three, four. So, saan siya nag-end? Sa negative 2. Okay? So, pareho sila ng sagot. So, ibig sabihin, kahit colored counters o number line na gamitin mo, you can still come up with the same answer. Let's have another example. So, I have here move 5 units to the left and 6 units to the right. So, dapat alam din natin kung paano i-represent. Okay? So, since meron tayo ditong word na left, so, ibig sabihin negative. Negative 5. And then, right. So, that is plus positive 6. Okay? So, let us solve. So, starts with the origin since we have negative 5 going to the left. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We ended up at negative 5. And then, going back, pabalik tayo kasi positive 6. So, going to the right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, saan siya nag-end? Positive 1. Okay, next. We can make use of the rule. So, ito yung pinaka-importante. Ang rule ang pwede mong gamitin kapag ang value ng integers mo ay masyado ng malaki. Okay? So, ang colored counters and number line, actually, ginagamit lang natin siya kapag ang value mo ay maliit pa. Okay? Now, so what is the rule? Ano ang rule ba natin sa integer, addition of integers? So, first... Same sign, add and keep. So, yung same sign, ito rin yung tinatawag natin, like sign. So, same sign, like sign, pareho lang yun. Okay? Ano ba ibig sabihin nun? Pag parehong positive yung integers mo, o kaya pareho silang negative. That is the time that you're going to add. Okay? And keep. Pag sinabing keep, kopyahin mo kung ano yung sign nilang pareho. Okay? So, same sign. So, halimbawa, pareho silang positive. I-add mo yun. And then, ang sagot mo, positive din kasi pareho silang positive. Pag pareho silang negative, i-add mo pa rin kasi same sign yun. And then, keep pa negative ang sagot mo ngayon kasi pareho na silang negative. Next, if they have different signs, okay? So, different sign, ito rin yung tinatawag natin. Unlike sign, okay? Ibig sabihin magkaiba, isang positive, isang negative, or isang negative, isang positive. So, ano ang gagawin natin pag magkaibang sign? You should subtract, okay? So, this is the time that you're going to subtract. Now, kung sa same sign, kinukopya lang natin yung sign nilang pareho, paano kapag different signs? Ano ang kukopyahin mo dyan? E magkaiba nga sila. So, Keep the sign of bigger number. So, kukopyahin mo yung sign ng mas mataas na number o mas mataas na absolute value. So, since magkaiba sila, anong sign ang gagayahin mo doon? Kung ano yung sign ng mas mataas na number. So, that your value or your answer will be exact. Okay. 
So, we have, let's have an example, positive 3 and positive 4. So, pareho silang positive. So, dito tayo. Okay? So, anong gagawin? Same sign sila. Add. So, 3 and 4, that is 7. And then, keep. Keep yung common sign. Ano ba yung common sign? Okay. So, pareho silang positive. So, your answer is positive 7. Next, negative 6 and positive 4. So, isang negative, isang positive so, dito tayo sa different sign. Anong gagawin kapag different sign? Subtract. So, 6 and 4, that is 2. Now, keep the sign of bigger absolute value. Okay? Kapag kinuha natin ang absolute value nito, this is 6, this is 4. So, mas mataas to. Now, ano ang sign nito? Negative. So, siya ang kukopyahin natin. Kasi kukopyahin natin yung sign ng mas mataas. So, negative 2. Next, negative 3 plus negative 4. So, ito ay parehong negative. So, same sign ito. So, anong gagawin kapag same sign? Add. So, 3 and 4, that is 7. And then, keep. Keep the common sign. Ano yung sign nila pareho? Pareho silang negative. So, negative 7. Next, 6 plus negative 4. Oh, by the way, kagaya nito. So, dapat lalagyan natin to ng parenthesis. Okay? So, 6 plus negative 4, it must be enclosed by a parenthesis. So, meron tayong isang positive at isang negative. Okay? So, different signs yun. So, ano gagawin pag different signs? Subtract. So, we will have 6 and 4, that is 2. And then, keep the sign of bigger absolute value. So, mas mataas to. Diba? So, kopyahin natin yung sign ni 6 and that is positive. So, therefore, our answer is positive 2. Let's have more examples. Okay, so I have 3 plus negative 5. So, different sign, subtract, diba? So, 5 and 3, that is 2. And then, keep the sign of bigger. So, mas mataas ito. So, kopyahin natin yung sign niya, negative 2. Next, negative 7 plus 10. So, different signs ulit to. So, different sign, subtract. Okay, so 7 and 10, that is 3. And then, mas mataas to. So, kopyahin natin yung sign ni 10. That is positive 3. Next, negative 3 plus negative 2. So, same sign sila. Pareho silang uh, negative. So, ano nga ulit? Same sign, add and keep. Okay. So, i-add natin si 3 and 2. That is 5. And then, keep the common sign. Ano yung sign nila pareho? Negative. So, kukopyahin mo lang kung ano yung sign nila pareho. Unlike this one na titingnan mo kung ano mas mataas dahil yun ang kukopyahin natin. Okay, next. So, 8 plus negative 4 plus negative 3. So, meron na tayong 3 integers dito. So, paano gagawin? Combine nyo muna yung pareho ng sign. So, ito pareho siyang positive. Pagsamahin na muna natin siya. So, that is 11. Okay, positive 11 kasi same sign. Add and keep. Keep, kinip ko positive kasi pareho silang positive. And then, saka natin i-add si negative 4. So, ito ngayon, different sign na siya. So, different sign, subtract. So, 11 and 4, that is 7. Keep the sign of bigger absolute value. So, that is positive. Next. So, I have here again. So, copy muna natin si 2. Okay. And then, pagsamahin natin to since pareho sila ng sign. So, negative 5 and negative 3. So, that is negative it's kasi same sign, add, and then keep the common sign. So, ayun. And then, 2 plus negative 8, so different signs ulit. So, that is negative 6. Kasi mas mataas si 8, copy natin yung sign na 8, and that is negative. Okay, it's your turn. Test yourself. Pause the video so you can answer on your own without looking at the answer key. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.